This is the final showdown. They got their spears and they got their swords and they're like, oh, Sparta! And, you know, this is, this is the big thing. Hello everyone, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks and PCL advice. And today, we are going to teach you how to write a professional film treatment so that you can kickstart your screenplay. Give this video a like if you're excited to learn. This is my only form of payment, so please give this video a like. I just beg of you. It helps the algorithm. And you can even change your like to a dislike if you don't like it by the end. So please, just for now, give it a like. Give it a chance. So your film treatment is going to consist of your working title, your log line, your character breakdown, and finally, your story synopsis, which is gonna be act one, act two, and act three. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and subscribe. And <laughs> imagine if I had ended the video there. Your film treatment can be a phenomenal writing aid to help you further develop your idea without diving headfirst into your screenplay and experiencing the worst form of intense writer's block ever. This is a powerful diagnostic tool that can act as your story roadmap and contain valuable information that your story beat sheet won't. This is the document that you'll give to a producer before he or she commits to reading your screenplay. Your job is to communicate this idea in the most compelling way possible. I'd say the most important aspect of your film treatment is that it enables you to test your idea and to see if it works. To see if you're passionate enough about the story subject matter before you commit to writing a 90 to 120 page script. This also allows you to review your idea and to see if this is something that you believe an audience is willing to watch. You can closely examine it to see if you've got something ordinary in general or something unique and special. The overall goal of your film treatment is to combine a heartfelt narrative with a deep understanding of what you believe will be accessible to audience members all around the globe. So without further ado, we're gonna give you some film treatment do's and don'ts. Do have your genre in your treatment. Do write it in 12 single spaced carrier font as it mimics the style that your screenplay will be written in in the very end. Don't have dialogue in your film treatment if you can help it. Let that dialogue be sparse or keep it to a minimum of zero because you'd like to save all that juicy dialogue for your screenplay. Do keep those paragraphs short and don't have images in your treatment. So a film treatment in short is a two to six page present tense film summary. It's a story about your whole story and should include the beginning, middle, and the end. Step number one, after you've written your working title, please write down your log line. This is your North Star that will assist you while you're writing your film treatment, while you're writing your beat sheet, while you're writing your script, while you're constructing your marketing materials like your movie poster, etc. You need your log line. And if you need any help with your log line, I have another video on how to create your log line. Please check it out. I'll put a card in there and also in the description below. Step number two, index card exercise. This is an extremely helpful exercise that I got from this book by the late Blake Snyder called Save the Cat. The objective behind the exercise is to write the entire story from start to finish, from beginning to end on the index card, front and back. And this really helps to get those juices flowing in a raw, it's raw, unfiltered way. This will help you get your story down in the most purest form before you begin to refine it and structure it. To take stock of the merit of your purest form of storytelling and pin it against the modern storytelling structure. Because when you put your story in the form of a treatment, although it's basic in nature, your film treatment will still be structured. Step number three, character breakdown. Who are the main players in your story? Why do they matter in your story? How old are they? What is their life like? And step four, your present tense story about your story, your story synopsis. Just write a story, beginning, middle, end. Act one should be about three, four paragraphs. Set up your story, set up your world. What's life like in the context of this world and the lens seen through your characters? What's your character's lives like before the crisis in your story changes your character's lives forever? What is the conflict that will set your story's wheels in motion? Act two is gonna be about four to eight paragraphs long. This is your meat, your story. 
Elaborate about what you wrote in your index cards. How does the story's conflicts that you set up in Act 1 manifest itself and blow up in Act 2 and Act 3? About three to four paragraphs. This is the grand finale, the big kahuna, the big snake. Your entire story has led up to this moment. This is the final showdown. They got their spears and they got their swords and they're like, oh, Sparta! And you know, this is, this is the big uh, thing, or not. <laughs> and of course, your resolution. Title, log line, character breakdown, act one, act two, act three, resolution. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos, and just let me know what you thought. Was it useful? If so, let me know. And I'll see you next week where we are going to talk about the revitalization of the classic beat sheet. See ya.